GameStop, or should I say Game Stonk. It's kind of crazy. There is a lot of hype surrounding the market, surrounding the news. If you are even remotely paying attention to any of the finance channels or the finance news out there, everyone is talking about GameStop. There is a lot of hype around this stock at this point. Some people are even saying it's going to $100 tomorrow or it's gonna go to $1,000 I've even heard. And while I would be very, very happy because I do hold a full position on GameStop stock at the time making this video, I know just from the good moves and the horrible mistakes I've made in the markets, I know that that we shouldn't be just banking on the stock just going straight up tomorrow. So who am I and why should you listen to me? Well, as you've seen, I make a whole bunch of videos. I have a couple of different topics I talk about. I want to start talking about more topics like this. This is a new style of video. I'm trying talking about stocks and finance. So definitely let me know if you appreciate this. I feel like I have a lot of knowledge. I've made a lot of great moves when it comes to the money and I've made a lot of mistakes and been burned badly. I've made a lot of important or I've learned a lot of important lessons when it comes to personal finance, budgeting, making money and even losing money. And if you like this video, definitely let me know down in the comments below. Don't forget to like, definitely subscribe if you haven't already. It helps me make videos for you. That being said, let's get straight into it. So a couple things you want to keep in mind if you are going to be involved in this GameStop stock, or should I say stunk. Don't put all your money in this stock. You should never put all your money in one singular stock. Because what happens is if you've only got $10,000 to your name, and you go ahead and put $10,000 in that stock, let's say today, what happens if tomorrow they miss their mark on earnings, some bad news comes out, or worst case scenario, the company's going bankrupt, you're gonna turn that $10,000 into $3,000 really fast, and that's going to put you in a very, very bad position, especially if you got bills to pay, like rent, mortgage, or if you're a parent. This is way too risky. At that point, that's the equivalent to going to the casino, taking your whole life savings, betting your house, your family's house, to try to 10x your money, but losing it all, and now you'll be basically out on the street. Be very, very careful. In my opinion, this is a meme stock. This is something that's just, get clear on your goals. You don't wanna put all your money in this stock or any stock. The safest investment for you, or for anyone really, would just be to invest in the S&P 500, invest in a fund that actually mirrors the S&P 500. I've used VU, Vanguard Investment Funds, before, it's just the first one I found, and I it, the S and P goes up. It, it just does, it's it's the S and P five hundred. We could talk about we could talk more about that later. Now, don't put all your money in that stock. How much should you put in? It's really up to you. In one singular stock, I would not feel comfortable putting more than ten or maybe twenty percent. Depends on how much money you have. If you only got ten thousand dollars to your name and you put in. $1,000, that's, that's a, quite a chunk of change. That's gonna take you from 10,000 to 9,000. So maybe keep it $1,000 if you got $10,000 to your name. That's the tippy, tippy top. Now, if you've got 20 or $30,000, you can afford to go 10, maybe even 20%. This is really up to you. But investing in a stock like this, the way that I look at this is, this stock can go to zero in 10 minutes and it would just be, oh well, too bad. It was fun. It was cool just to put a little bit of money on there just for fun and see if it goes up. That's great. It's going to allow me to buy a Nintendo Switch and play my old Zelda games. But if it goes down, another valuable lesson I learned, at least I didn't put all of my money or a significant amount of my money on that stock. A Roaring Kitty put a lot of money in this stock. Absolutely amazing story. He Go watch his videos. I haven't watched all of his videos. I don't really know a whole lot about that. But just make sure you don't put all your money in one stock, especially a meme stock or a stonk like GameStop. The second thing you have to make sure about is the stock can go in either direction very fast. By the way, I have some notes I'm looking if you see me over here. It's not a teleprompter, but it's some notes. So it could go up super fast. It could go down super fast. What if it doubles tomorrow? What are you going to do? You're going to see and say, hey, I just turned $1,000 into $2,000. Is that time where you should start taking profits or cash out? Maybe. Or are you looking to see from 1,000 to 5,000 if your initial investment is 1,000? What happens if it craters 70% or craters and you lose half your money? Now you went from 1,000 to 500. How are you gonna feel? What if it went to $1 and you turned $1,000 into almost nothing? Then how are you gonna feel? Are you going to be cashing out saying the markets are rigged? Roaring Kitty, 
I don't like them. This, this whole stock market thing is just a, a big, it's rigged, it's for the birds. Or are you going to actually say, I actually want to keep going now that it's so cheap, I'm going to start buying more because I only invested this much money when I had this much money to invest. I'm actually going to start buying at a lower price. This is more the approach that I've taken. However, I will never own more than, I will never put more than 10% of my net worth into a stock like this. So just make sure that you have a number in your head. It's okay to take profits. No one ever went broke taking profits. Now I want to start doing a, I want to show you the chart. Let me go ahead and do the screen recording. Let's see if I could do the screen recording because I want to talk about you know, all that stuff. Let's go ahead and start recording. Record entire screen. Okay, right now we've got GME up right now. And this is, when did Kitty, when did he make that post? When, when was it? It was, I believe it was June 1st. He came out and said he had a whole bunch of, a whole bunch of stocks. So let's see if we can find it. Yeah, it was right here. So this must have been that Sunday night, right? Or that Friday, I don't know. But you could see how much it spiked after he, after he, uh, what's it called? After he did whatever. He said everyone I have multi-million dollars or whatever. Right after that, shortly after that, it went down quite a bit, recovered, went down. And you could see this must have been on Friday when he had that live stream, June 7th. That sounds about right. But then it cratered again. You can see how this is really like a roller coaster. What if you, what you don't want to do, you don't want to buy here, get upset down here, and then it goes up here and then you sell right here because you lost, you went from here to here, you went from, what are the numbers, 37 to 31, you lost $6 per share. If you bought 10 shares, you lost $60. What I would do is, you should never buy when it spikes up like this, although it's, it's impossible to time the market. Who's to say it could have just went straight up? What I did was I started to buy my average, my average, what's it called? My average cost is around $35. So you can see I'm still in the negative. Not too much, I'm still in the negative. So $35, what does that mean? That means I bought it maybe at 30, then I bought some at 40, then I bought some at 25. The average of all the shares that I bought, the average price is about $35. So let's take a look at this. Make believe I put all my money in right here, right? $35. June 6th. June 7th, it went to $47. Awesome, right? Oh my God, that's amazing. What do we all do and I know do? It's gonna go higher. It craters all the way down to $33. Now I'm in the negative. What do I do? What do I do? Do I sell? Well, what happens if I sold and it went all the way back up here? FOMO, I gotta buy again. I'm gonna buy again, $38. I, I sold it and I bought it. Oh no, it's gonna come down and it's gonna spike up and it's gonna come down. Oh no, now I bought it at $38 and now it's all the way down to $27. Life sucks, I'm dumb, this is rigged, right? And if you put all your money in at once, you don't have any extra money to buy down here. Now ideally what you wanna do, you wanna buy down here and you wanna sell all the way up here. That's impossible to do. But you could see $35, right? Now let's make believe it crashed all the way down to here and I sold right here. Next couple of days, right, June 8th, June 10th, Oh, I'm smart. I'm smart, right? You know, look, I sold it. It was going to the bottom. What would have happened a couple of days later? Well, if I sold it at, what did I say? $30? I don't remember. Yeah, let's, sold it at $30. I'm so smart. I'm the smartest person in the in the world for this week. What about now? Oh, oh, oh crap. Maybe I should have, maybe I should buy it right here. What do you think? Should I buy it right here? Well, look, you buy it at 33 and it's now at 32. Damn, I shouldn't have bought it. You don't want to fall into this trap. Be very careful. It's very, it's impossible to time the market. That's why I will never put all my money in one singular stock, whether it's GameStop, whether it's even Tesla stock, anything. So it's just something that I wanted to explain to you guys. You don't want to fall into the mistake of just fear missing out, buying here, and then it crashes down. Oh no, it's going lower. Look, it's going lower as we, it's going lower as we're talking, right? 32, 30, who knows? We're up. Now, the interesting thing is, if you bought at 35 like I did, 
and it went down to 23. Oh my God, you lost so much money. It, it's no good. It, it, no, like this horrible. What happens if you sold it here? What happens if I sold it here? Well, look, there's a little bit of hope here. Then it came down, right? But then, okay, up and down, up and down. Check it out. Last couple days, look at all the potential gains. If I sold it, if I got upset, panic sold, which by the way, I've done before. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend it. I would have lost out on $10 per share about, where were we? 23, 32, $10 per share. And by the way, no one knows if this could skyrocket that way. It could just totally just boop all the way down to the bottom. Be very careful with stuff like this. If this is glorified gambling basically is what this is. So just be very careful with this. We'll go ahead and stop this screen recording right now. All right. So just wanted to show you that chart. Now let's go back to the notes, make sure I covered everything. So yeah, stock could nosedive extremely fast. That's why it's very important to only put enough money in there. Like I said, if you got $30,000 to your name, can you afford to lose $2,000? Probably. If you have no debt, by the way, it's a whole other situation. I'm, I believe in the debt-free lifestyle, but yeah, probably going from $30,000 to $28,000. It, you'll see it on the screen. It'll suck, but it probably you can probably you'll probably be able to pay all your bills, and it probably won't really affect you paying your bills and being able to put food on the table. But if you only have five thousand dollars and you lose that two thousand dollars, now it's not going to be a good news. It's not going to be a good day for you. You're going to lose almost half your net worth. Now you can probably pay your bills this month, but next month you might be in trouble. Be very careful. The stock can nosedive very fast. You have to have a plan, or if I were you, I would have a plan. I think I put a disclaimer here. This is not financial advice, by the way. This is just, I just want to share my experience and just my thoughts and opinions. Do this at your own risk. What would you do if the stock nose dived? What would you do if the stock went to zero? The stock could go to zero. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Now, it's, and also it's, it's very smart if you're going to invest money into a single stock, which you can make a lot of money in single stocks. If you're going to invest money, it's always good to do your research and due diligence and actually believe in the company. I believe Roaring Kitty said he just likes the stock. He doesn't care if it goes up and down. He likes the stock. Good enough for him? Sure. I particularly like Tesla stock. I like Tesla's vision. I like their long-term picture. I like that. I like what Tesla is doing. Does that mean that in five years it's going to be 10x? No, I think the Tesla hype is kind of over and it's just it's more of a long term play at this point. But if you do due diligence and you actually read and look, just do any type of research, you, you're in a much better position. That's more of like a long term investor, long term investor or long term investing. Again, I don't have much experience with this. I have a couple of accounts that are just S&P 500. Long-term investing, you don't care if the market crashes tomorrow because you're not going to touch that for another 20 or 30 years. You don't care if another fear bug panorama type 2020 type thing comes around and then the markets just crater down like crazy because unless you're going to take that money out tomorrow, it shouldn't matter to you. You're going to take it out 20 or 30 years depending on your age. I'm 37 time making this video, so I'm not going to take it out for another 20 or 30 years. So just, just understand that the more research you do, the better off you're going to be. And when the stock does crash, you're not going to be losing sleep at night. And then that's also understand the difference between investing and trading. Trading is I want to just make a quick buck today. That's day trading. I don't know what like short term trading would be. Like That's kind of what I'm trying to do. Buy today, maybe in a few weeks if it's up, great. But if in a few weeks it craters, let's wait to see if we could actually break even on it. We break even, I'll be totally totally fine. No harm, no foul. A lot of lessons I learned. Cool. Also, finally, don't expect to quit. Get also, finally, you do want to make sure you can talk before you make a video like this. Don't expect to get rich quick off of anything in life, whether it's GameStop, whether it's Tesla stock, whether it's anything. In 2020, kind of messed with my head, kind of you know, really screwed with me. I thought that all investments were going to go up. I made a ton of money off my Tesla stock. I thought that's it. I'm set for life. This keeps going in two or three more years, two or three more years, I'll be a millionaire. I can do whatever I want to do. I could be a full-time YouTuber. I can play with cameras. I can buy fun things. I can buy more cameras like, like this one, this is a pretty old one. What happened? 
well, now I got less money than I ever have in my entire life. But a lot of lessons learned and you know, it's, I had to learn that hard lesson. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think of this new format I'm trying or this new type of video I'm trying. Personal finance, just budgeting. Don't lose all your money, be very careful. Invest at your own risk. It's good to take risks, but invest at your own risk. This is not financial advice. If you like this video, leave me a comment. I wanna hear what your thoughts or what your experience are in the stocks or in just making money, making smart moves to put more money in your pocket. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. I know a lot of you forget to subscribe when you like my videos. Subscribe, it helps me out. If it helps me, I can help you. That being said, Thanks so much for watching. Hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next time. Thanks for watching.